Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to capture my thoughts this morning with, it, with, it, with the words, dark precedents. And um, you know, one of the people that I really admire, I mean, we, we all call him the father of faith, was Abraham. Now, Abraham was, had a notoriety in faith that, I mean, amazing. I mean, Abraham comes to Sarah and tells Sarah, pack, let's go. Where are we going? I don't know. Why are you saying we should go? God said, who's God? I don't know. Did you see him? No. Did you touch him? No. And where did he, how did he speak to you? He spoke in my heart. And you're just packing everything and just going, you're leaving everything, leaving everybody there and going. Abraham said, yeah. Now that is a masterpiece of faith. And it was all because God said to him, you leave to a land I will show you. Now Abraham leaves. And all throughout Abraham's journey, if you remember, there was one time God even came to him and said, Abraham, now you look east, look west, look north, look south. This is the place I'm going to give to you. So God was very specific in his directives, even though some of them were very, very unclear. And all he was expecting from Abraham was a step-by-step -step walk of faith. So I'm very fascinated by Abraham. And Abraham is one of the guys, that, a classic example of faith because stepping out of nothing, stepping out of something into nothing, and then you're going to get more than something. That's how I'll capture it. But in Genesis chapter 12, there's something very, an interesting story over there. All throughout Abraham's life, you can see divine guidance. All throughout Abraham's life, you can see divine guidance. All throughout Abraham's life, you can see divine directives. But then, the Bible says there was a famine, and there was a famine in the land, and the famine was so severe. And Abraham made a decision. He went to Egypt. So Abraham went to Egypt of his own volition. And he went into Egypt not because God told him, Abraham, go to Egypt. But he went to Egypt because of a fear that the famine is going to finish his family. So he needed to go near where food is. So Abraham went to Egypt based on an assumption, based on a fear. And he didn't hear from God. He went to Egypt by himself. And now Abraham, since the father of faith, and Abraham beginning a new, a new uh, pattern, painting a new picture, I mean, uh, weaving a new paradigm for others to follow. If you remember, Abraham went to, to Egypt when there was famine. So guess what? Isaac also, then when there was famine, he was about to follow his father. Because when there's famine, you go to Egypt. So he was also on his way to Egypt when God, making decisions to go to Egypt when God said, don't go to Egypt, stay in the land. But here's the next generation. There was a famine in, 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 in Israel at that time. And then Jacob and all his children went to Egypt because that is the pattern that has been set. This is the dark precedent that has been set. And you get, yeah, Abraham says, when there's famine, don't move by faith. When there's famine, don't depend upon God. When there's famine, use your mind. Use your common sense. No more faith walk. Faith ends when there's a famine. Pragmatism says, go to Egypt. So be pragmatic and go. But he was setting up a precedent, and in future, his children and his children were going to pay a price for it. Because guess what? When Jacob and the 12 tribes and the 12 sons went to Egypt, that is what placed them in bondage in Egypt. And for 400 years, they paid a price. So I wonder if Isaac had also gone to Egypt, maybe 800 years. So Abraham's faithless precedent, Abraham's not hearing from God and making, taking that action, set up a paradigm, set up a picture for his generations after him to follow. And so there was a famine again in the land and he went to Egypt there was a famine again in the land. Isaac stayed and didn't go. But there was famine and Jacob and his family went there. And this is what placed them in harm's way. This is what placed them in bondage. They became slaves in Egypt. So sometimes there are some dark precedents that we may set. And if we're not very careful, it will follow. It will follow generations after us. It's not a curse. 
is a reality. So when you come to the police to set up precedents, please make sure you avoid dark precedents. It's a choice you have to make. See you later.